Hi all, it's Kylie from Kylie's Card Craft. Thanks for joining me again today. Another second hand haul today. Um, yesterday, being Saturday, this will come out Wednesday, I went to a book fair up in Ballarat, about an hour away from me, and they advertise all their books at $2.00. But they do have a selection of what they class vintage or rare, which are not $2. And they are anywhere from 10 to 300 in amongst all these $2 books. So I went up anyway and came away with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 books. <laughs> And then continued on and drove around Ballarat, went to a few op shops, a few garage sales. I've got quite a haul. So I want to show you some of these books. Now, some of them are dead, and I like that because this spine I can actually use as a bookmark. They are sewn in. The signatures are sewn in, which means that I can gut them beautifully, and I've got double-page spreads. This one doesn't have a date. Um, but the colour is adorable. Look at the colour on this. It is just beautiful. So that was a $2 one, and I love, I just, I just love everything about it. Whether I actually mend that spine and use the whole thing, because it's my size journal, or whether I use this as a bookmark and turn these into another one with a different spine. I'm not quite certain yet. Now, I've got a shelf down there to put them on as I go, because there's quite a few. Another dodgy one that I grabbed was this one, and it's actually missing. You know, the spine is off it. I actually think that's the back. No, this one says, and I can't quite read it. I really can't read it. It goes that way, Kylie. Education. I've got education there. Ireland. All right, so that's a little bit that I've got. Now, this is really dodgy. I love how they used to put other book pages in there. Again, it's a sewn in one. I don't have the date for this one either because it would have been the front pages. But this gives us, if I just read out the chapters that we've got in here, the seasons and months. We've got spring, we've got summer, we've, of course, got autumn and winter, um, morning, just things about the months. It goes on and on and on. And what they are are poems about each of these subjects. So they will just work so well in journals. I was so wrapped when I found it. Um, as I said before, no date. Oh, yeah, here we go. Irish National School Books, printed and published by direction of the Commissioners of National Education in Ireland. That's what might that's what that might say. What do we say? Commissioners of National Education of Ireland. I don't know, but I've got education in Ireland there. Um, doesn't as I said, doesn't give me a date, but it is beautiful again we've got some lovely color a different color but all these wonderful poems and verse for that one so that was that one now we get into slightly better books and these i've bought just for the covers okay so again they're a sewn in signature which means i can gut them really really well i don't need to tear pages out i can literally just slice down here and down here and this whole thing will come out and I've got this cover which is a really good cover in really good nick for another journal now date on this one I don't they most of them are in the 50s I would say um 57 so you know that that age book works really really well because the covers are usually fairly good. This one, again, I got for the cover. Look at this. That's a little bit of a clean up there. Now, yep, this one's sewn in as well. The reason I like this one, strange name, Devil Water, but look. 
Look at that. How beautiful is that? So, and I've got that on the front and back, these beautiful old maps. That was the main reason I got it, and I thought I was happy with $2 for a cover and those maps. It's a thin page. Uh, this one, 62. So, but yeah, that was another one that I got just for the cover and the maps. This one, ah, uh, Biggles. And I probably won't, well, I might. I've got this already because it was my Uncle Tony's. Um, he had all the Biggles series, which I now own, and I keep in my to keep books. And we lost my Uncle Tony when he was very young, when he was only about 18. So um, I was very excited when I came across a Biggles book because I remember reading these as a kid whenever I'd go down to my grandparents. And this one's got a beautiful, beautiful colour on it. Again, and again, they're sewn in, which you, it's getting really hard to find, those sewn in ones. Right, this one, Progressive English Course. So I haven't gone in and looked under the covers yet because I literally only got these yesterday. Here we go, let's have a look. Should be just, yeah, look at that. And look how, what good condition it's in. A little bit up there, but oh, just on its own. That would make an awesome, awesome journal. Hang on, pull that out. Let's just move that over there and that over there. Love it when they put their own covers on because it's it almost looks new. Specially written to meet the requirements of the revised course of study in Victorian elementary schools, 1934. So I was really happy with this. And at that stage, I hadn't even seen the cover. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, awesome. That was a good find. That was a really good find. Another one was, and these were all in their $2 piles. Um, English for Newcomers to Australia. This is 1948. Now, I already have a, here, a welcome for when, um, this is 1950, for when the immigrants arrived in the 50s. A lot of it was the Greeks, the Italians, and they were given this little book just to prepare them on what really you know, it gives us what the educations are. It gives us phrases, different bits and pieces, what our measurements are, how to work all your bits and bobs out, an address book. Okay, so I love that. That sits beside me because I love that. So this is English for newcomers to Australia, and it gives us our, our lessons purpose of this book is to help immigrants to Australia who do not yet speak English to get some knowledge of the language as rapidly as possible. The book is primarily a classroom text and follows the syllabus laid down and methods used in full-time training centres and in part-time continuation classes. Look at that. The first edition of this book should be treated as a workbook to meet an immediate need. Later, it is hoped to publish an enlarged, revised and illustrated edition. This one is the first edition, so there's no illustrations. But look at the colour. Oh, 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 oh. How awesome. How awesome is that? Better remember to put them down here. Um, oh, I have one of these slightly larger that I said I was going to keep. And I love these. This one is a dodgier version, so it means that I can use this one. <laughs> and what it is is these beautiful, beautiful ads at the back. And it gives us our maps for, it should be just, that's West Melbourne. So it should be around Victoria, Essendon North, might be just around Clifton Hill. Um, it might be just around Melbourne, Brunswick, Brighton, Black Rock, hmm. Baldwin, Abbotsfield. Uh, look at look at the ads. Look at all the bits. It's our postal district map section. So that'll tell you where everything is. The streets. 
Look at this. Have you a wireless listeners license? Obtainable at any post office. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. I was so wrapped when I picked it up. I don't care that they're missing their cover or anything else. They're just... I love them. I love the ads in them. I love all these sorts of things. If reception of broadcast programs is marred by extraneous noises, listeners are invited to enlist the aid of the post office. Inquire now. To get from suburb to suburb by the quickest route, always consult Suburban Main Roads Map. On folder at front of book. Well, no, it's not because um, we're missing the front of book, but isn't that beautiful? Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, I did find another Pride and Prejudice. I love Jane Austen um, mainly because I know that whatever page I pick up to put in a journal, I don't have to worry about proofreading any lines that they may be a little bit off, I suppose would be the best thing. So these, you know, whatever page you pick up, you don't have to sit there and just go through to make sure that there's no bad words, um, all sorts of other things <laughs> without saying it, you know. So any Jane Austen books will be fine to use. And look at this. Look at this. So they had quite a set of these there. This is first published, 67. So I'm assuming, I uh, don't know, it, it could be that 67 one, which to me, yes, it's very, very um, brittle. To me, there that's not old, and I know these days that's vintage. Nineties is vintage, so for me, vintage is the twenties. Antique is anything in the eighteen hundreds, you know. But it's just my age, I think. Right, I did find a couple of kids' books. I don't normally buy kids' books, but I do love annuals, and I love some of the pictures in these. This one, as you can see, is falling apart again. No, that goes. That goes, which way? Yeah, no, that goes. That goes that way. Like that. Doesn't give me a date there. Contents, contents, maybe at the back. Let's have a look. 1960. There you go. But some of the pictures in them are just awesome. So whether I use that one for myself, that looks like a colour plate. Hang on a moment. Oh. Okay. Um, whether I use these for myself, I don't know. Or whether I pack them up and put them in my coffee shop or something else. I'm not quite certain yet. But when I saw it for $2, I didn't want it to just get chucked or anything else. We will get use out of it. I know that. Um, the other kids' book that I got was this one. He put this out as I was there. They were they kept coming out and putting out more books, more books. This one, again, it's not something that I would normally purchase. I just need to move that over because I've got my gap up here. But look, are you ready for some of the pictures in here? Are you ready for some of the pictures? This is... Does it give me a date? 61. 1961. Look at these. Isn't this just so 50s, 60s? Look at this. How beautiful are some of these pictures? Again, I don't know if I'm going to use them. It's one of those things. I couldn't leave it be. Um, but... It's just beautiful. Let me know if you'd be interested if I put these into um, packs or whatever else because I'm not certain. But it was just beautiful. Look at this. Ooh, Patey might need to clean that bit up. 
See, I've just pulled... That means it's been in my car. I've just pulled them out of the car because I left everything packed last night. Right, two more books from the book fair. My two favourite ones for last. Are you ready for this? Look at this. Louisa, Lady in Waiting, The Personal Diaries and Albums of Louisa, Lady in Waiting to Queen Victoria and Queen Alexandra. This is really nice and technically... Just the front of this, I can make a full journal. If I slip that down there, that's my spine between. I've got a really nice journal there. So technically, the cover of this, I'm going to move that. Um, the cover of this would give me two journals. One there and one from there without using that spine. Are you ready for these pages? Oh, well, not that one. Hang on. These pages... And it's not that old, this one. Um, I don't know. 79. Hang on, let's just get in here. Look. Look at this. Oh. My. It'll be really hard to work out what side I want. So that side's fine. But pages like this. You know, oh, I just, which is why I had to do my whole video straight away. I just so want to get in to this one. Look at these. This is just, I still can't believe I found it. I love it. Absolutely love it. How amazing. How absolutely amazing. There is probably way more, again, in here than I will ever use. I may put some pages into some packs, like I've got my book page packs already in my coffee shop, or I'm not quite, I'm not quite certain at this stage. There are more pages in here than I will use. So I may need to sell a few off, but look at this. Is this just... And it just goes on and on and on and on. How absolutely amazing. I'm just, yeah, I'm in love with it. Absolutely in love with it. You know I like all my ads and all my pictures, my picture books, as in the black and white pictures that I can turn into my cabinet cards and all the rest of those. Now, the other one I got... The last one I got, which is a biggish one, and I don't reckon it's even going to fit on the screen. So it measures. I got my big ruler here. A bit over thirteen inches, or thirty-three and a half centimeters, by not quite nine and a half inches, or twenty-four centimeters. It is soft cover, which made meant that it was lighter to carry. Now this is. Momentous events in daily life as reported in the Australian press. But again, what it is, is all my pictures and my ads. Look. I just, again, I picked it up and went, I only need to undo one page. And I went, yep. Look at this. So it goes back, that's... 1953, 1927. Let's start at the start, shall we? Oh, hang on. 1911 to 1920. Oh, got all sorts of bits and pieces. That'll make a good glue book. Introduction. Newspaper storage, don't need all that. 1901 to 1910. I love it. Absolutely love it. So I will need to make room again in my bookshelves for all of these. So I will work on them and they're my, my couch of an evening job when my husband's watching whatever he watches on TV and I just sit there and um, do this sort of thing. 
Now, I then went to a couple of op shops, as I said, found another couple of books. I know, as if I needed books after that. But what I found, I found a purple. Now, if you've watched Sunday's video, the um, Do You Love Happy Mail, you'll hear me talking about this book. It's purple. I need to do a little bit to that, but really, I don't need to do a lot to that. I would probably do a larger cabinet card. Do you think of that? A little bit of lace around it. That cover is in awesome condition. I reckon I'll put some lace down there and I'll stitch my signatures straight through that spine to hold the lace down onto that. Um, I won't be using any of that. I'll, I'll gut that and I will be just using... And Reader's Digests are easy to gut because, again, we just go straight down there I'll show you actually just so that we can so all you're going to do is go straight down so can you see this little bit here this is where a knife is good okay all we're doing is slicing through that webbing that they have in there like so do the same on the other side. So if I lift that up so that I can start it at just the right spot. It helps when your blade is sharp. Don't cut yourself. Really, apart from that first section where I've got my blade in there, my finger is nowhere near it. There's the book. It's out. Okay. There's that ready to go. That way. And it's in really good nick. It's not going to need much. These are a little bit creased. I may put some... Um, oh, I can't get in there because I've got the... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, I've got that pile of books sitting beside me. I can't undo that drawer further down with the book corners. I may put some book corners on there. Whether it's that cabinet card or I make a longer one, a little bit of lace, it won't take much at all. So that was one... Oh, that cost me 50 cents. I know, right? 50 cents. So I'm happy for that. Right, that's that one. The other one I found at this op shop for 50 cents. Oh, book a lounge. They all just fell. I could get into that drawer now, and I reckon that's why that happened. They've all just fallen around the bottom of my stool. I may be here for the rest of the day because I don't reckon I'll get out. I'm here on my own. <laughs> oh, well. Right, this was the other book I got. Again, right up my alley. So I've got ads, stamps, signs, certificates. Again, for 50 cents, even if I only get two or three pages out of this, um... I'm I'm happy. So, you know, they've been put into their 50 cent tubs because nobody wants them. I want them. And I'm extremely happy when I find all these sorts of things. So it's it's based on family history, blah blah blah. But it's given me a couple of you know, I like I like graphs. I like pictures. Look at this. I love them. So that was another one. That was the end of the books that I got yesterday. So yes, so I'll start my new pile here now because everything else fell down. Look at that. Right, what else did I get yesterday? Well, a um, couple of doilies because I can't help myself. This was a dollar. Hang on, which way around? Look at that. Again, I can see that on the front of a slightly larger journal so it would go this way so it's not as wide there as it is long that cost me a dollar beautiful and the other one i got which i think was a dollar as well yep was this one and ones like this i like to wrap around i would show you that purple one but it's down there so i can't reach it but i would wrap that around so there's my spine 
and it's going to go round that way. But that's beautiful as well. So I, as soon as I see those ones, if I, if I can look at a doily and go, yep, I'm going to do that with it, I have to have it. Um, and you all know me. I need lace like I need a hole in the head. Yep. Two bags. Two bags. So that's not lace, but check this out. Wouldn't this make a wonderful bit down the edge of a spine? How cool is that? I don't know what it is. It's all... It's been manufactured like that. That's, that's industrial stitching. So that was in there. It was just a little bit different. The green, look, I don't use green. I may try and dye it or I'll put it in a pack. Um, I love these sorts of ones. These are my favourite types of laces that I use. So there's quite a bit. Oh, quite a bit in there for that one. And, of course, my crocheted lace. I love them. Take that off. That's... I don't think I have this one. It's strange, I know. But that's just beautiful. So that was that one. My other pack of laces. Oh, these were from a different op shop now. <laughs> I think I did, I did about five, um, came out empty handed from two or three of them. I know. So I like my wide laces. You saw that for the video that I used last week where I tea dyed it and then um, scanned it. So that's up on my coffee shop now. Um, that's just a freebie that's up there if you want the scanned version of that. So that's another one of those. I don't think it's the same. I don't know. Who knows? They're just bags. You just look at it and go, yep, that's different, isn't it? That's different. But, eh, I'll work that one out. There's not a great deal of that one. Some embroidery on glaze. Oh, that's nice. That's lovely. I like that one. Oh my going? 27. Another wide one. Is that the same? No, this is a different one in the wide ones. Oh. I like that. That one I will grab a piece and tea dye. And then there's some cream in here that looks like to be a wide one as well. Yep. Now whether I leave that that yellowy cream. Or whether I just take a section. I might just take half, die half, leave the other half. The other bit that I got was this. I love little mystery bags. I love them, I love them, I love them. Now, currently in my spare time, I'm finally sorting out all my embroidery floss that I've had forever, where I used to do cross-stitch way before my kids were born, and they're 21 now. And they've always been shoved in this shoebox. And I can never find this shoebox when I need it. It's in the garage or it's here or it's wherever. So I've been sorting that out. And, oh, hang on. That one I can reach. So this is what I've been doing with my embroidery class. Oh, I've got a little bit to go. Just when time permits. And I've just cut myself some of these. And I'm putting it all on so that I can look at it you can see I've got I got a little bit left to go okay so it's going to be so much easier than having them all in that shoe box and I can see them at a glance because I like embroidery I like all these DMC or whatever brand embroidery flosses when I'm tying buttons and stuff like that whoops hang on everything just fell again Right, so that's not going to work. Hang on. Maybe like that. There you go. I had it wobbled. Um, so when I saw this, and that's what all these are, more embroidery floss. But the reason I saw it was I saw these in there. I love these, and these are beautiful, tucked into sewing journals and things like that. So I've got quite a collection of these, and this was the main reason that I got it. Yes, I could make these, but what's the fun in that? Sometimes it's nice just to purchase them. So 
lots and lots of embroidery floss sitting here just to go through to complete my selections because let's face it don't have enough of those slide those across right as i was going to the last second last stop shop and i was driving down the street looking for it and i went past and i saw the sign garage sale today on one of the main streets in in the city center um so i parked and went back and what it was was an old mechanical workshop and i mean old and that obviously closed it down and there was an old guy in there and he was selling off everything in there. He'd obviously closed it down. And they'd been there from probably about the 20s. I know. So there was lots of mechanical bits and pieces. He had lots and lots of car manuals going right back to 20, 1925 and stuff like that. But he wanted a fair bit of money for those. But I did find a few things. So, and I've got to clean them up. I found... This, the wiring diagram of a 1948 Willys. And look, so I will scan these and pop them up on my coffee shop as well. So that's one. And I also found, I chose between a couple of them. Um, this is a 1946 Dodge Plymouth, the wiring diagram and an ad on the back again as well aren't they beautiful and they're in a hard card stock the color's gorgeous haven't worked on getting these his prices off there yet i will work on those probably today bit by bit because i don't want to ruin them getting them off i then came across now i know this is so strange so random but i got them for the packaging i got thermal replacement toaster elements i have no idea what date they are or anything else look at the packaging we don't need the toaster element I'm telling you now i might scan it and just see what it comes up like but so i bought two of them they were two bucks each i got that one because i just love the way it was torn and all the rest and then i got a slightly better packaging one aren't they beautiful aren't they just i love them absolutely love them so i will scan those ones as well i don't think they're going to both fit on my scan so they'll have to go through a separate but yeah these are the toaster elements that are inside them <laughs> so that was those my last thing that i found in there which cost me a bit cost me a bit cost me ten dollars and this needs cleaning up. It is the car care plan. Um, there was one there that was like new, new, hadn't been touched, had a few little bits written in it, and this was all really nice and clean, same price. But this, it took me ages to work out which one. This one has all my information in it. So delivery date for this was the 4th of May, 1965. And in here, we've got, he's had his pre-delivery inspection done. He's had his 1,000-mile free service done. His 2,000-mile free service done. None of these were filled out in the other one, so they still had the little torn-off stubs. But this one, I like the fact that they were filled out, and I've still got some of these little stubs here. I've got all this information and here are these stubs. So, you know, all of this. He was very good. He got his 4,000 mile and his 8,000 mile, 12,000 mile, 16. So he, he well, didn't get his 20,000 mile done. But he did get his 24. <laughs> but, and then we start going in to these. Look at these. And you've got all of this. Oh, I just fell in love with this book. So this one still gave me a few of these. But it gave me all that writing. And it's the writing I like. It's the personal part that I like. So, yeah. In future, please have your Valiant vehicle appear at a Chrysler authorised service station. 
service station. Every 4,000 miles for regular lubrication and maintenance service. Take advantage of specialised Chrysler service, which is your assurance to, of economical, reliable and safe motoring. So that was my day yesterday. It was a big day. It was an awesome day. I had heaps of fun, wandered around. It was really hot. <laughs> but, you know, when there's an op shop or a secondhand shop or anything like that, you don't worry about the heat, do you? I hope you've enjoyed this haul. I thoroughly enjoyed getting this haul and now showing you this haul. And now I've got to find places for it all. And I'll start working on and work out what it is that we're going to scan and put up on coffee and all the rest. So keep an eye out on my coffee shop. That Some of them may already be up when this video goes up. If you've liked this, please give me a thumbs up. Love you to subscribe. Thank you to everybody that's already here. And until next time, happy hunting. Bye.